Gmail is undoubtedly one of the most used email clients in the world. Would it be nice if you knew some helpful Gmail tips and tricks to elevate your Gmail user experience? That's exactly all this video is about. We will see close to 20 Gmail tips and tricks to get most out of your Gmail. It's gonna be really useful, so let's get started. First up, do you want multiple email IDs in Gmail? One for each online service? Although technically alias is not possible in Gmail, there is a trick. Gmail will ignore the character after a plus symbol and Gmail will ignore nor a dot anywhere in an email ID. For example, if my email ID is Anjana, the tech girl at gmail.com, I can introduce a dot anywhere like Anjana dot the tech girl at gmail.com or Anjana the tech dot girl at gmail.com and it will still be delivered to me properly. I use the dot to make my Gmail a little more clear when giving it to someone. Similarly, with the plus sign, I can give my email ID as Anjana the tech girl plus New York Times at gmail.com or Anjana the tech girl plus uber at gmail.com so gmail will ignore everything after the plus sign this way i have one email id but i can add plus when subscribing to specific websites this will help me organize my emails later so i can even unsubscribe or block all emails coming to plus uber or plus doordash etc do you use gmail app on your phone your app can now show emails from other email services like outlook or icloud or yahoo to do this just click on your profile and tap add another account here you can select iCloud or Hotmail or Yahoo or any other email account and then your Gmail account will show emails from your other email providers as well do you know that you can schedule your email message to be sent at a later time this is super easy and convenient to send at a particular time to do this just compass your emails like how you would do normally before hitting send see the small arrow next to send tap that arrow and select schedule send now you can pick any time you want your Gmail to send this message and then this will be scheduled to be sent at that time. Speaking of scheduling sending, there is a way to undo send messages as well. Were you aware of this? I have hit send too soon so many times and wished I knew there was an option to unsend the message. To do this, first go to settings and configure the send timeout. Click on the gear icon and then select all settings. Now in the general tab, under undo send, select a cancellation period. Period. Here I have 5 seconds. Now when I accidentally hit send, Gmail won't send this email for 5 seconds. Before which if I need to undo the send, I can simply click on the pop-up called undo and the message will not be sent. Next, let's see some tips to organize your inbox a little better. In your default inbox view, you can already see there are a few categories Gmail has created called primary, promotions, social, etc. Gmail automatically categorizes them into these, but if there is an email which you want to be categorized as say promotions, you can do that by right clicking on the email, select move to and then to the category. Now there is a pop-up which asks you if you want this email to be categorized this way all the time. When you hit OK, this sender will always be categorized appropriately, keeping your primary inbox clean. There is an option to create custom labels too. This way you can mark messages with custom labels to find them easily later or even organize them to separate folders. To label a message, simply right click on it, select label as and select one or more labels you want this message to be labeled. If you want to create a new label, you can do this right here by right clicking on a message, select label as and then then select create new label here give it a name and you have a new label created but what is the advantage of labels think of labels as folders you can create filters on messages and gmail will automatically put the messages in appropriate labels for example i want all my messages coming from youtube to be labeled as youtube so i can either mark them red or delete them in one go i already created a label called youtube to create a filter there are two ways first through search bar click on this icon to the right at the search bar and select the filter you want i'm gonna put the from field as youtube i can add more filters but this is enough for now now i select create filter here i can select what i need to do with the filtered message i'm gonna apply the label as youtube i will also select this checkbox called skip the inbox to directly send it to label folder that's it now any message coming from youtube will not mess up my inbox and will go straight to the youtube label another easy way just open a message click on the three dots and select filter messages like these and create a filter and label them to clean up your inbox you might know of starting a message to flag them. Do you know you can have multiple types of stars and search for them uniquely? Go to gear icon 
all settings in the first page at the bottom you can see the stars option there is only one by default you can drag and drop more types of stars here save them now when you star a message click on the star again to rotate between types of stars for example this is a red bang star i can search in the search bar for messages with red bang like this so more filtering options Okay, next up, we looked at categories and four default categories, but you can also make your inbox much more customized. Let me show you. I'll go to all settings page here in the inbox type. Let me select multiple inboxes. Now I can create custom inbox sections as per my needs. Let me edit the first section as emails coming from my husband. So I will type from his email ID and also where subject says important. I will create second section as starred messages. The search query is starred. Third, I want all my YouTube labeled messages to show up here as well. So third query is labeled YouTube. Finally, I want all my social category messages to show up as section as well so category social by the way if you don't know what query to use click on the learn more and gmail will show you all search queries now my inbox has custom sections just like i want it to be moving on some tips to reduce the clutter in the inbox by unsubscribing we all have those overloaded subscription emails there are easy ways to manage them first way the one most people know if you open an email at the bottom in very small words there will be an unsubscribe link use it to unsubscribe second way when you open a message gmail will automatically prompt an unsubscribe button for you click on that and gmail will automatically unsubscribe it for you this is a faster and cleaner way no more one week for emails to stop third way you can simply block the sender go to messages select the three dots on the side and select block future messages from this sender will be marked as spam and won't go to your inbox Next Next, instead of having this traditional Gmail view, opt for a reading pane which will open the selected Gmail messages on the right. This way you can navigate through your emails faster and get more context in a single view. To do this, select the gear icon again, scroll down to the reading page section and select the placement. I like it to the right. Now when I select a message, it opens up to the right immediately instead of a new pop-up. Are you going on an extended vacation and you want your email senders to know that you cannot respond to them back? Configure a vacation message. So when someone sends you an email during your vacation time, they will get an automated messages that you are out. To configure this, go to all settings, scroll to the bottom on the first page. Here, turn on the vacation responder. Select the vacation days, type in a subject and a message. Now anyone will get an automated message when you are out. Finally, a great tip for someone who needs to send similar messages often. This is called Gmail templates. You need to enable templates first in all settings. Under advanced tab, enable templates. As an example, I send project updates on my current projects and this is the usual template that I fill. Now I can save this as a template by clicking on the three dots, templates, save as new template. Next time when I have to send a similar update, I can go in here, templates and I can select the save template. My message is already populated. I can just fill in the details and send it quickly. You can save multiple templates for multiple use cases. So these are some tips and tricks I use on a regular basis to get the most out of Gmail. Were these tips useful to you? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Helps make me more such content. I'll see you all in the next one. This is Sanjana. Bye bye.